Welcome to the Smart Notebook How To Demos. This demo is how to add basic content to a notebook page. As you can see, I have my notebook file open to a new page and I want to add basic content to it. At the top on the toolbar, I have a select button and I have a pens button, shapes, text, polygons, lines, and I can fill my shapes or polygons and I can erase anything in my ink when I use the pens. First, let's add some text. I press the text button and the text tool properties open. I select the font style and the size that I want and I click on my page and I type. I can also select my text and change the font or the size to whatever I want. When I'm done, I click outside the box. Next, I want to add some shapes. On the toolbar, I press the shapes button and the properties opens for the shapes. I select the square and I select the color. I can choose a line color here, which is the border, and I can choose the fill color, which is the inside. So I'm going to leave the border black and I'm going to select one of the blues. And I can change my line style or my line thickness and I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to click outside here and draw my box. I can follow the same process to draw any of the shapes, polygons, or lines and add them to my notebook page. When I'm working at the interactive display in my classroom, I sometimes want to write on a notebook page. At the top, on the toolbar, I select the pens button and the pens properties opens. I select my pen type. I'll keep the pen for now. I can use the quick select button to choose a style or select the color and let's change this to red and the thickness and I'll leave it as is. And then I'll tap on the board and I will write a word. If I have instructions that I want to write on the page, but I want to make sure the students can read it, I can also convert this handwriting to text. I go up to the top and select. I select the object. I select the object menu. And I recognize either as yes with a capital or yes as a small. And I'm going to select this one and it converts to text. When I have added content to the page, anything I add, like the square, the page title, and the handwriting are objects. I can select any object, like I showed you previously, and open the menu and select any of the menu options. I can also move the object around the board. and use the green handle at the top to rotate the object. One last thing that I want to show you is something about shapes and polygons. So I'm going to select the square and I'm going to open its menu. And there are four options here that are I can use for some shapes and some polygons. I'm just going to show you how these work for the square. I can show and hide vertices and you can hide them again. I can show and hide interior angles. These are all 90 degree angles. I can hide those again. I can show and hide side links and I can hide those again. And I can divide this, sh this shape. Um, if it's grayed out like this, that means I wouldn't be able to use it, but it's not grayed out. So this option is available for the square. So I'm going to select Divide Shape. I'm going to change it to four equal sections. I'm going to leave it to show fractions. 
and then I'm going to hit OK. So you can see this is divided into four equal quarters and the fractions appear. I can also pull out these sections. Thanks for watching this demo. Check out the other demos in this how-to demo series.